Welcome back to The Morning Show, 814. And joining us now is our resident nutritionist, Joy McCarthy. Joy, welcome Hello. to you. So you're going to give us tips on making our way through farmer's markets. Yes, because everything <laughs> in that bag. Yes, exactly. because it's Detox. farmer's market time. Um, they, uh, have you guys been out? Have you been to any? This I was season? saying I missed my farmer's market. It happens every Thursday, and okay. every Thursday I've been busy. But I, which one? Uh, Young and Eglinton. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been to that one yet. Really, really nice little setup, and it makes you feel like you're part of a community, and they have so many great. Uh, delicious foods, all fresh produce, but like you said, there's, it's kind of difficult to know where to go, where to yes. start, and so on. Yes, exactly. Well, that's what I always tell people. When you go to the farmer's market, you want to scope out the territory first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because even, you know, I used to go and I get so excited, and then I like fill up all my bags, you know, the first three uh, farmers that I talk to, and then I miss out on so many other people. So I suggest uh, you go there, go early, don't go with time constraints, and walk all around around talk to the farmers if you have kids take your kids because it's such a great way for kids to reconnect with their to, well not reconnect to connect with their food and I think with adults helps them helps us mm -hmm. to reconnect with their food and really know where it's from because mm -hmm. I feel like so many people don't know they're eating their plate of food and they have no idea that w was pulled from the ground or someone had yeah. to catch it or mm -hmm. yeah they do, they don't know where it's come from also, bring cash with you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That oh, that's so true. True. Yeah. Otherwise, then you have to try and find an ATM, and then you get dinged. I don't know, two dollars, however true. much they're they're charging nowadays. Ah, uh, yeah. So always bring cash with you. Bring your reusable bags. I bought. Uh, I brought one of these uh, bags for each of you. Uh, oh, so it's a little you. canvas bag. I love the little saying here. Yeah, because I mean, you don't want to have to be asking a farmer for a plastic no. bag. Yeah. Um, they don't usually bring bags with them. So yeah, bring your reusable bag with you and uh, have fun. I'm yeah. wondering, when you're going to a farmer's market, like you said, you get so excited, but yeah. do you, should you still have a grocery list? I mean, is it still, yeah. you should treat it like, you know, you're going, you are spending money after all. I mean, you know, yeah. you and it is good money. You have to bring a lot money. of cash. Yeah. yeah. Yes, so, definitely. Do you, you know, you need to, I, I would That's imagine, need to have a list, right? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of people, though, aren't familiar with what's in season. So sometimes if you have your list, you know, you might want to be buying strawberries in September, and you're going to have a hard time finding strawberries. So yes, a list is good for sure when you go grocery shopping, but a farmer's market you may find that there's a lot of things on your list that aren't there, but it's going to encourage you to shop more seasonally. And so when you're shopping seasonally and locally, you're going to get the most nutrient dense food. Because most food that people are eating, by the time it's on your dinner plate, it's traveled, you know, over 2,000 kilometers. But when you go to a farmer's market, you know, you could be buying cucumbers from someone up near Oshawa or near yeah. Owen Sound. Uh, so you're getting the most nutrient-dense food. That's why I was telling Liam about this cool app called Seasons, and uh, you can find out what's seasonal and uh, local to your area. And so then you can build oh, your grocery neat. list based on, yeah, what's seasonal. Because the food is so much more nutrient dense. I remember last year when I was buying sweet potatoes, I was chatting with the farmers, because they're always happy to chat with you and give you cooking tips too. <laughs> He's like, I just pulled these potatoes up this morning. And I was like, yes, yeah, yeah. they're going to be I like so. I going into your salad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I love it too. Like this, um, this lettuce I brought here has dirt all on the bottom. Really? I actually really like that. That shows like how fresh it is. I'll you see. know, you just have yeah. to, to wash it really well. Question though, um, we we're talking about bringing cash, but I mean, I've never been yes. to a farmer's market. I'm not okay. a, I will now. Yeah. I'm <laughs> talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the cost effectiveness of it. Can, yes. you, can you barter, you know, can you make a deal, go to one booth and get like, you know, well, you that know, guy over there is six, giving. Six, yeah, six, yeah, six, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's where I do these things. You know, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You, you want the deals. I personally <laughs> never ask for a deal because I'm giving money directly to that farmer that's going to their family. <laughs> so, <feel> guilty. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even you contacted can try. Can you shop your I'm going to do it my way. I'm all good you can deal, try, so. but I have to say, I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't ask for deals, but I'm sure you, you could see if you could get a bargain. But you'll be surprised. Like, if you're buying zucchinis in season, they're so cheap, but you so know, inexpensive. I mean, everybody's got to be willing to. To negotiate at the end yeah. of the day, yeah, though, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like, hey, man, you're shutting down like in an hour, you know? Come on. Well, I will <laughs> tell you, you know, um, St. Lawrence Market, yeah. if you go later in the day on Saturdays, if you eat fish, 
you uh, some of the seafood places will will at like 4:30 on a Saturday afternoon. It's like 50% cheaper. I'm not gonna say who oh, it is oh. because oh. I love the deals. Yeah, yeah. Like, so now she's gonna just like bring the deals yeah. on us. That's yeah, a for cheaper for 50%. Well, the thing is, they're closed Sunday, Monday. <laughs> okay. So, so they if they're selling the salmon and it's away. fresh, right. then it's it is cheaper. And I get love, some really good deals. I love my seafood. I love I love yeah, good salmon. Yeah, St. Lawrence Market's a great one for that. But the produce, I don't know so much if you're you're gonna get deals. But if you bring like forty dollars with you, you'll go home with a good amount of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean if you're buying all cheese and eggs and that type of thing, if you're buying, you know, nice and the sheep's milk, yeah. oh. cheese, yes, and waffles, That's then the yeah. The dangerous part. There's so much yes. food already ready made yeah, that you could just eat right point. away. Yeah. So you might just get distracted. So is there any way to sort of stay on track and not end up, you know, eating your face off like well, Chris and I? I, do. I, I actually suggest if you're going in the morning, don't eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast mm. at the market. So I actually, you know, if you're going grocery shopping uh, to a regular big box grocery store, I always tell people don't go hungry yeah. because you're going to end up buying everything and most of the stuff is going to be more junk food and unhealthy. But at a farmer's market, actually go with the intention of having breakfast. Now, do yeah. you do most of your shopping at the farmer's markets? Because I, I Rob makes a good point. I, I think it's money well spent, but for yes. people who are going to the farmer's market for the first time, yes. it is pricier than if you would go yeah, to a grocery be. store. Uh, it can be, but that, again, you might be surprised the stuff that truly is like really seasonal. Like you can, when zucchinis are in season, yeah. you're paying like maybe a dollar for a zucchini. So I do both. I shop at farmer's markets and I also shop at like the bigger box grocery stores for, you know, more of the essentials. But I just, um, it's such a pleasurable experience. You know, it's so great to just reconnect with people and it supports the community and it's a fun, like it's a fun outing. We've got to really, wrap up, but sure. this quickly here, can you give us a, a, a list of a few of your favorite yes. farmer's markets? Yeah, so I love Brickworks mm -hmm. uh, Farmer's Market because they really focus on promoting organic and uh, non-GMO, Sororan, so out near Roncesvalles is really nice, uh, Dufferin Grove, uh, Witchwood Barns. So if you go to farmersmarketsontario.ca, they have a whole list of all the markets. I said that really fast. <laughs> yeah, you got it in there. You got Bob, it in there. Taking some notes. I and better right be now, seeing you, know you at a farmers market. I, I'm gonna be weekend. guilty though, because I, I eat everything. I get my hands on food, and I'm just like, you know, I'll take that, 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 that. So you leave a couple of bags with me. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's it's a nice day out, and it's great for your yeah, family. You could be there. Is. Most farmer market, farmers markets have playgrounds or places for and kids music. to play. And I music. I love it how there, you know, lots of times there's live music and it's a, it's a great experience. Yeah. Joy McCarthy, we always love it when you visit. You're making me what? hungry, <laughs> but in a good way. Good. Our favorite holistic nutritionist. We're going to take a quick break to watch the morning show. It is 8:21.